Hi, this is a quick video on the Kohler Courage 18 horsepower twin to V, uh, two cylinder. Here's the specs right down here on it. Um, this is your area where the carburetor comes off. I did take, there's two Phillips head screws on there. I took them off. I marked both my cables because those had to come off too. I did put the screw clamp holders back in there. Also, uh, there's a vacuum line that comes from here down to the back of the carb. That needs to come off as well. Both linkages with these plastic clips, they came off. Fuel lines newer, that came off too. Uh, there is a negative right here. That's a little tricky guy. I had to get uh, that off as well because I almost forgot it. I was trying to pull it out and I couldn't see. But when you disengage this, this thing moves around. Be very careful not to throw that off because you don't want to have to mess and readjust that governor. It's not fun. Uh, and right here, real quick, these are like the takeaways that I'm getting from this job right now. And the linkage, the bigger end goes on the bottom. All right. Uh, you got your float right over here. You got your needle valve. Those look to be good. This thing I'm going to clean up. I did watch a couple of videos. Uh, I saw Terrell's video on these guys. And I saw another guy as well. Uh, but Terrell, I remember I watch all of his videos. Great channel. Terrell fixes all. Indiana. Awesome. This guy right here, I found the only jet that I could find to take out so far was in here and it's this little bugger right here. My problem was it was surging. And if you see, I took a welder torch tip cleaner and it goes through. When I took it out, brought it into the sunlight, I saw maybe a pinhole through it, but then I brought it out there, I reamed it out, now I could see like, maybe it went from a, a one millimeter to a 15 millimeter or a centimeter. So, it was a huge improvement. Hopefully, the uh, that will help my performance. Now, I'm thinking in here with my Makuni carburetors, I usually have a jet down in here. And I don't have my glasses on, but let me see what I can see. Hit the like and subscribe button. Now, there's nothing down there, but I blew some air out. I put some cleaner down in there. Reamed it out with the uh, welder torch tip cleaner. Three bucks at Menards or your uh, Home Depot, one of the big stores. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the takeaways. This spring, be careful with that. I took some photos. This is where the negative went on right here. So I'm going to clean the outside of this carb up as well. But those are my takeaways so far from the job. Uh, if you can, suggestions, comments. Uh, you know, if you see something that I didn't see on here, put a comment in there. Keep it positive because I'll delete it if it's some negative garbage. Uh, but make sure you take some photos of this before you, because uh, it's not like a Briggs carburetor. This is a little bit more involved with that governor rod especially. I had a bad experience with one of them, uh, actually this tractor when I first bought it, because it was not right. Uh, if you can, like, subscribe, uh, comments, advice for the other people that are viewing this, going through this problem right now. Uh, shout out to Terrell and the other guy. I think it's Mini Garage or something like that, but I could be wrong. Thanks.